Hello, happy 4th of July. This is a, um, a pair of 42 millimeter sports watches. Probably for someone with a little bit larger wrist, although I don't find either one of them cumbersome personally. But what we've got here is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver. This is the original release with the closed case back. The current model has an open case back, you know, displaying the movement and all that. And the second watch is a Breguet Type 21, the larger of the, well, there are three. There's a Breguet Type 20, Type 21, and Type 22. I believe it's 40 millimeters, 42 and 44, I think. So this is the sort of middle size one. And um, I have been wearing only this Breguet for a number of weeks. I thought these two would be a cool comparison because they're both listed at 42 millimeters. I've got the, well, it's sort of Captain Obvious, but I've got the uh, AP Diver on a an aftermarket blue camo strap, which I like a lot. Most of the aftermarket straps are crap, but this is a good one. And the Breguet Type 21, well, in general, Type 20s are probably most often seen on straps, usually gator or some kind of leather strap. And here's Chico. Chico is in to say hello. But anyway, I just kind of want to compare the two um, sort of visually. I'm not going to talk about specs or anything like that. These are two of my favorite watches. If I had to sort of pare down from a handful to one or two, at this moment, I would probably pick these two. And yes, I do have two Rolexes, so... Not that I don't like them, but I just find these a better fit for me. But uh, Chico's probably hungry or just being friendly here. Uh, but really loving the Breguet lately. Um, the bracelet's really comfortable. It's not like this dainty light bracelet. The watch obviously has some sort of weight to it, but it's not unwieldy. <laughs> Now, if you were to put this AP on a bracelet, I have a feeling it would be really heavy because it's got a lot of weight. As you can see, they're both, you know, similar height, I, I'm thinking. But uh, for me, they both fit really well. Probably the Breguet is more of an all-around watch if you wanted to have something in a formal setting. I think the Breguet can be worn anywhere. They both have uh, the AP... I think you could wear in any occasion. Um, but I'm not so sure super formal unless you put, you know, a more conservative strap or bracelet or whatever. But um, they both have reasonable water resistance. The AP obviously is a full-blown dive watch with 300 meters. But the uh, Type 21 has 100 meters of water resistance and a screw-down crown. So even though it's a chronograph, it has pretty um, impressive water resistance. Probably similar to, I can't remember the water resistance uh, rate of uh, De Rolex Daytona. I want to say it's probably similar. So anyway, both have a you know adjustable bezel. The Breguet being a pilot's watch, the bezel moves in both directions. And the AP is a dive watch, internal with an internal bezel that moves uh, unidirectional or one direction. So anyway, two great watches, two watches that I plan to never sort of trade or sell or what have you, and just wanted to kind of show them together. On my wrist, they don't look probably that big. And again, they're both listed. 42 millimeters is not a giant watch, but to some they would consider both of these behemoths uh, but not to me. All right. Hope everyone's having a great holiday weekend and I've probably babbled long enough. Cheers.